Hi folks, Dave Waring here again with FitSmallBusiness.com. In today's video, we walk you through the different components of an effective press release format. So let's get started. The first thing you should put onto your press release is your company logo at the top center of the page. If you're emailing your press release, it's a good idea to include a high-resolution copy of your logo as a separate file. Below the logo, you can put your contact information along the left margin. Some people opt to put their contact information after the body paragraphs. Whether you choose to put your contact information first or last, it should look like this. You may also want to include certain social media contact information, such as your Twitter account or Facebook page. Next, consider adding a release date. Not all press releases contain a release date, but if you do decide to include one, put it below your logo on the right margin. This should either say for immediate release or for release on enter date at enter time. Next is the press release headline. The headline is your first chance to grab your reader's attention and inspire them to keep reading. You should keep your headline short and to the point. Try to stay within the 80 to 170 characters range and use language that is clear and easy to understand. Remember, you're trying to appeal to a journalist, so you don't need to plug your company right away. The headline can serve to set up the big picture story into which you can weave your business later on. It should be centered, use a larger font than the body text, and be bolded. For more tips on how to write a great headline and examples of press release headlines for launching new locations, products, and events, See our full article, which is included in the description section below this video. After the headline, you may want to include a subheadline, which is an optional feature that is written directly below the headline. It gives you the opportunity to further develop your story angle, but should not repeat information already presented in the headline. Next is the dateline. The dateline presents the location and date of the article and is separated from the first body paragraph by a dash. The location should be spelled out in all capitals and look like this. The first body paragraph should present the who, what, when, where, and why, how of the press release. This should act as a short summary that gives the reader a general idea of what the whole story is about. You should stick to the facts here and avoid hyping or trying to sell your products or services. The remainder of the body paragraph serve to complete the story you have introduced in the headline and first body paragraph. Be sure to write in a journalistic style so that media outlets can use your text as is. You can use the second paragraph to provide background context for the article. Use short paragraphs, two to four sentences, and feel free to include statistics, hyperlinks, media content, and quotes. The final paragraph in your press release should be the boilerplate, which presents information about your company and what it does. This should be a factual description, and it can be used repeatedly in different press releases. For more information on how to write a boilerplate, see our full article included in the description section. If your press release uses two pages, the first page should end with more, centered at the bottom of the page. Your final page should end with three pound signs. Once you have ended the text of the press release, it's a good idea to put one final note at the bottom that encourages someone who would like more information to reach out to you. Something like what you see on your screen now. For more on how to format a press release, including fonts, spacing, words to avoid, and more, see our full article included in the description section. Thanks for watching.